How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today is the second time using this Dodrio team, so hopefully it goes well. If you want to battle me, join the Discord server in the description, and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Okay, we found our opponent in the uh, room 2022-2021. Uh, that's basically the code that you can use to get battles in BDSP. It's pretty awesome. You should definitely join the room. More people, the merrier. That's what I always say. So they've got a cool team. They've got an Arbok, a Wobbuffet, Chimeco, Weezing, Victory Bell, and a Yan Mega. So pretty threatening team. They've got no ground type, so I feel pretty confident leading off with Ampharos because even if they go into the Wobbuffet, we can Volt Switch, which would be great. So let's go ahead and do that. And the battle begins. So my opponent's going to lead off with the Yan Mega as we obviously led off with Amphro. So this works out really well for us, really. Works out very well, to be honest with you. So let's get this uh, party going, shall we? And we'll go for a Volt Switch on the Amega. That seems like the best optimal choice. Even if they switch out, we can get Volt Switch damage off on something. And it's probably going to be the Victory Bell, to be honest with you. They're going to withdraw Yammega, which makes sense. And they're going to go into Wobbuffet. Okay, Wobbuffet's fine. Look at that shiny. So pink with the lipstick, looking fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Let's go for a Volt Switch, and this will do a decent chunk of damage to the Wobbuffet, which is great. Uh, choice Specs, Ampharos does have a lot of power behind its attacks. That's for sure. So now we can go into tri -Bird real quick, and um, I don't really see anything that wants to take a Brave Bird. I don't see anything on their team that wants to take a Brave Bird. This is like the ultimate um, Dodrio team. Um, the ultimate victims to the Dodrio team, if that makes sense. Right, we go for the Brave Bird. They actually stayed in to try and tank it. I'm going to guess they're physically defensive or something, but they are not taking that at all. As Wobbuffet goes down, that's fine. To be honest with you, Wobbuffet is a really hard Pokemon to pull off. Um, to be fair, I think I think it's not even allowed in BDSPOU because um, of Shadow Tag, but I could be completely wrong there. You never know. Right, now they're going to go into Arbok. Arbok will have the Intimidate as well, which is going to make it a better, um, well, it's going to make it tough for my Dodrio to do any damage to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, Steelix. Steelix can wall this thing and deal some pretty hefty earthquake damage in return. I say, I, I like your Arbok, I like your snake, but my snake's bigger. Let's do this, Steelix. And we'll just come in like that, looking badass, and that's, that's, that's top notch. So they go for an Ice Fang, um, and they get the Freeze. No! <laughs> Oh no, they got the freeze. Let's get let's try and get Stealth Rocks up. See if we unfall. I don't think we will though. They're gonna go for a coil. Okay, so coil is very dangerous right now. And um, that is a very dangerous uh, move for them to have for us. We are still frozen solid, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to go ahead and decline on the stealth rocks now. We're gonna have to go for a roar, aren't we? Try and roar it out, get rid of that coil. There we go, we're going for another coil. They're trying to set up all over us. It's not gonna work though. The minute we wake up and shout in its face frozen solid oh my lord this is not good at all really not good at all let's go for a roar again really really want to wake uh, on four they go for an earthquake it's plus two we're gonna eat that because we're a steelix and we are a badass and uh, we're still frozen solid though so that's kind of um bad um what do we do here what do we do here We're going to have to let Steelix go down, I think. We'll, we'll try and roar again. They might try and set up another coil. Now, they go for another Earthquake. That's going to take us out, unfortunately. So, they've got Earthquake, Ice Fang, Coil, and they've probably got Gunk Shot. So, no Sucker Punch. Which is great for us. Because that means Alakazam can come in and do some work here. I mean, Alakazam has Focus Sash, so it doesn't really matter about the Sucker Punch anyway. Um, but we'll be able to get away with just going for a Psychic now and just taking this thing out. They're going to withdraw our buck. Smart play. I don't know what they go into other than Chime Echo. Yeah, there's Chime Echo. So Chime Echo comes in. Look at a tiny little bell. Such a tiny little boy. Or girl. Boy. Yep, it's a boy in this instance. Um, yeah, so Chime Echo's in. It's just going to eat that up like it's nothing. That Psychic, he just ate it all like it's nothing. That's pretty good. Um, so we won't go for a Shadow Ball here. What we'll do is we'll switch out into... What do they do here? They go for a Thunder Wave? I think they go for a Thunder Wave, you know. Let's go into Ampharos. I think they go for a Thunder Wave, or they go for a Stealth Rocks, one of the two. We'll go into Ampharos real quick. There we go. And we'll go for another Volt Switch, just to try and get some damage off on it. They go for a Wish. Interesting. That is interesting. So, 
Um, we saw our most damage Psychic did, which was a Focus Sash, so no boost. From just a plain old Alakazam. Let's see how much a, a Stab Volt Switch from Choice Specs Ampharos does. Let's just see how much damage we're talking here. Then we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get a true scope of whether this thing's specially defensive or not. They're going to withdraw Chimeco, probably into Victory Bell, right? Yeah, Victory Bell's the best thing that they can switch in at the moment. Um, as we did go for the Volt Switch, it's going to hurt. There's half to the Victory Bell. That's crazy damage. It was a crit. But they have a Berry. <gasps> it's a stab boosting Berry. Raising its speed. Oh, dear. That's not good. That is not good at all. No, it's fine. I'm joking. <laughs> we can just go into our Arcanine over here. Get the Intimidate off, which would be great. Get the Intimidate off. Please. Thank you. There we go. And after getting the Intimidate off, we are going to Flare Blitz this thing in the face. So let's go for it. Let's Flare Blitz this thing in the face. If they switch out, great. They lose the speed boost. They are going to stay in and go for a knockoff, which is interesting. It's not going to do much damage to us. As we can go for a Flare Blitz, which should take it out, right? It does. Okay, so Victory Bell goes down. I guess they didn't really want to switch anything in, um, which is fine. They did lose Victory Bell, which is a shame. But what can you do, eh? In comes Arbok. So Arbok's coming in. Getting that Intimidate off on us, which is just fine. Um, I'm thinking we just stay in and go for a Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, let's go for Willowis. They're not shed skin, so um, we know that obviously because we've seen an intimidate. There we go. They're going to go for a poison jab. That's going to hurt us a little bit, but we are physically defensive, so we can tank it. They do get the poison, which is unfortunate, and we do hit the Willowis, which is great. So overall, pretty good turn out there. Turn out there. What am I, a robot? Sound like a robot then? Turn out there. Um, what am I talking about? Anyway, we burned the Arbok, which is fantastic. What we're going to do now is we are going to switch out into no. We are going to go for Flare Blitz and just do some damage to this thing. So they go for an Earthquake. That's not going to KO us. It does KO us. Never mind. I, f I completely underestimated how low our health really was. Arcanine goes down. I could have gone for an Extreme Speed there. I am aware I could have gone for an Extreme Speed there. I was just, for some reason, thought I would live an Earthquake. Um, so, you know, don't at me. Anyway... Let's go into tri -Bib, And we can just go ahead and one-shot this Arbok into Oblivion with Brave Bird. I don't see why not. I do not see why not. Let's go for it. Let's go for the Brave Bird. There isn't a lot that's going to switch in. Even Weezing might be too-shotted sh too here. Yep, I think they know that as well. Brave Bird's going to come through. Dodrio with the KO again on the Weezing. We already got the KO on the um, Wobbuffet. No, not the Weezing. The uh, Arbok, sorry. The Arbok. Now comes in the Weezing. Because they know that this is the only way it's going to take a hit. Um, looking at the rest of the team. I'm thinking we go Brave Bird. There we go. Go for a Brave Bird. Let's see how much damage we're doing to a Weezing. 50%. Are you kidding me? That's amazing damage. They go for a Flamethrower. That's obviously going to take us out. Down goes Tri, tri Bird. But you know what? Dodrio did really well this game. Dodrio did extremely well this game. To be honest with you. So um, looking at the rest of this team. Um, we can probably threaten this thing out with Alakazam. So let's go ahead and go for a Psychic and threaten it out. There we go. In comes Alakazam. And we'll go for a Psychic real quick to threaten this thing out. And um, they're probably switching to Chimeco now, but, you know, they might not. There we go. They stay in because they know they can't really um, do much to Alakazam at the moment. And they're going to go ahead and lose their Weezing. So that's perfect. Weezing goes down. Now we just have to worry about the Omega coming in and getting speed boosts. There's the Chimeco. So Chimeco comes in. They know that they can kind of wall us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch into Ampala, Ampharos. There we go. We're going to switch out into Ampharos real quick. And um, we should be able to take any hit this Chimeco wants to throw our way. And if they go for a Wish, then so be it. So let's see what they're going to do. They go for a Cosmic Power. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? That's not good. That is not good at all. So, we have got to start putting the power down on this thing. I'm going to go straight for a Thunderbolt. I'm going to go straight for a Thunderbolt. They go for a Wish. Fair enough. So, Wish, Cosmic Power, probably Psychic. That Thunderbolt did do decent damage, though. To be fair. We might be alright here. 
we should be able to do more damage than they can wish, wish recover. So let's go for another Thunderbolt. They go for a Calm Mind. They have Calm Mind and Cosmic Power. Are you kidding me right now? I better not get swept by a freaking Chime Echo. I'm telling you now, if I get swept by a Chime Echo, I'm going to just go. Right, there's the wish. See, look, we're doing more damage well, by a little bit. We're doing more damage by a little bit. Do I have anything I can do here? Suppose we've got a uh, man time, we could burn it, negate the leftovers. I don't really know what we can do. We've got three special attackers and they've set up two calm mines. Yeah, let's go man time and try and burn this thing. If we can burn it, then that'd be great. So we're going to Aquero. And uh, they go for another wish. That's fine. Go for your wishes. Go for your wishes. See if I care. You know? Go for it. Go for it. We'll just go for a scold. I'm going to try and get the burn to negate the leftovers. I feel like this is the only way we're going to get through here. We got the burn first time. Perfect. They go for a calm mind. Great. So. I don't see how we can beat this thing. I swear, if I get swept by a Chimeco, right? If I get swept by a Chimeco, I'm, I'm, I'm DCing. I am DCing. So, with that in mind, we'll go into Alakazam for now. And we'll try and push through with Shadow Balls, getting the special defense drops from Shadow Ball. That's, that's the only thing I can think to do. The only thing I can think to do. So they go for another Calm Mind. Oh my god. It's actually terrifying. That is the face of evil, that is. That Chameco's face is the face of evil. It's the absolute face of evil right there. Right, so. Burns negating the leftovers, which is great. Um, We just go straight for a Shadow Ball here. May lower the special defense. So let, we've got to go for the Shadow Ball um, special defense drops. That's all we can really go for here. Can we get one? No, no one. That's annoying. If we get a crit as well, crits would be good. Crits would be a great addition here. That's probably the only way we're going to break through. With crits. Definitely the only way we're going to break through. This is an evil Chimeco set. It's pure evil. How dare they do this to me? How dare they do this to me? Let's go for the Shadow Ball. There we go. Go for the Shadow Ball. We have need a special defense drop or a crit if we've got any chance of winning this. No special defense dropped. They've got stored power. Oh, Lord. We've got stored power. They've got stored power. That is not good at all. That is really not good. We've got to try and break this thing somehow. I just want a special defense drop. That's all I want. Special defense drop, please. Give me it. Come on. Special defense drop. No special defense drop. And they go for a wish. Perfect. Perfect. All I want is a crit. <laughs> I don't really see any other way around this Chimeco. It's going to sweep us, isn't it? It goes for stored power this turn. Gets his wish back. And then we're back to where we started. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. Please give us a special defense drop. Not a single special defense drop was given that day. That's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Alakazam goes down. We've got three minutes left on the timer. They get the wish back, which is annoying. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm like... I've really dug myself into a hole by letting this thing set up. I've dug myself into a hole by letting Dojo go down. Let's be real. I shouldn't have let Dojo go down to that wheezing. Should have kept it for the Chime Echo. Yeah, but who looks at Chime Echo and thinks, oh my god, that's going to be a threat later down the line? Not a single person has ever said that once. And not a single person in their right mind would say that. Let's go for a Thunderbolt. They go for a Slow Power. Is this going to KO Amphros? Yep. Freaking Nora. Oh, wow. Wow. That is just crazy. Amphros has decent special defense as well. Like, I really thought it'd live at least one. I thought we'd have speed, to be fair. But nope. So we're going to our man time real quick. 
Uh, best bet we can go for is a crit on the Scold. Gotta try, gotta try. No crits. No crits were given that day. They go for a stored power. I am fully specially defensive Mantine, and Mantine has a ridiculous special defense stat, and that just one shot me. Chimeco is a massive throw. Oh my god, I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm gonna have nightmares after this battle. I can already see the nightmares in my head now. Wow. You know what? I looked at the matchup and I thought this is gonna be a quick game. I might not end up uploading it, but you know what? I'm uploading that because I need to spread awareness about Chim Chimeco. Alright? Do not underestimate Chimeco. <laughs> or you will have a bad time. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.